So you have a Samsung Galaxy S8 and above. So you have the S8 or S9, S10, S20, even the, uh, the Note versions. I'm gonna show you how to connect and use DeX on any Windows computer, uh, PC, even a MacBook or an Apple, okay? It's very, very simple. There's two things that you need to do. The first thing is you need to go ahead and download uh, the DeX app, and I'll show you how to do that in one second. And you also go ahead, you also have to use, let me pull this plug out. You use your regular charging cable, okay? It's a USB-A to USB Type-C. Now take note, if you guys wanted to go ahead and use DeX on like a uh, TV or a computer monitor or projector, as long as it has an HDMI port, in order to use DeX, you have to use like one of these, okay? It's an HDMI to a USB Type-C, all right? Anyways, but for a computer, you're just using the regular charging cable like this. So first thing is this. Let's go ahead right now and connect my Galaxy S20 Ultra to my uh, Windows laptop here. So let me plug the USB part into the USB part. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the USB Type-C and I'm gonna go ahead and plug this right in. And I'm not even gonna do nothing. I'm just gonna let it sit there. I already downloaded the DeX, okay? I'm just gonna let it sit here for a little bit. I'm gonna eventually have to log in as well, okay? So I get this message here on my phone, start casting with Samsung DeX. I'll click on, oops. I'll click on start now, right here. Give it just a second. And I will have to unlock my phone as well. The thing is, I can unlock my phone from the screen Right here, you can see it says uh, use your phone to unlock. I can just tap on that and I can put my password in or I can just go ahead and go from right here and put my password in as well. So my password is in, I'll go ahead and click on okay. And now you can see I'm using the uh, trackpad on my actual mouse here. You can see the uh, the mouse on there so I can type everything using my actual computer and you have everything on here if I go down here I mean you have your your Wi-Fi uh, your your battery juice battery level here if you want to go to all your apps bottom left hand side right there you can click on that and that'll give you like all your apps and let's go ahead and do this uh, let me just open up gallery so this is what I have on my phone so let's go ahead and open up like a video and a, and a uh, photo so let me double click. This is a video here that's on my Samsung Galaxy uh, S20 here. Let me double tap on that. We can open that up. I'll go ahead and press on play. Testing, one, two, three, four. Testing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and even if I, let me go ahead and I'll open up a photo as well. So here's a photo right here. And we can like keep moving down the line as well. That's all in my gallery on my phone. Another thing that I want to note too is uh, you may be asking, okay, so if you're connected to it and you want to surf the internet or something like that, where is the internet connection coming from? Is it coming from uh, my computer or from my phone? It's actually coming from the phone. So right now I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi network. So the internet is coming from here. If I was uh, to turn off my home Wi-Fi network and only use my SIM card, then it'll use my SIM card, the data to access the internet, okay? Another thing I forgot to mention too is you're actually able to transfer uh, files and whatnot from your phone to your actual uh, computer as well. So for instance, let me go ahead and minimize Dex here. And let's go ahead and put like one of these photos onto my desktop here, okay? So I can go ahead and click on it like that. And I can go ahead and right up here. You can see that Dex icon. I can go ahead and let go. And now... It's right here on my actual computer. So how exactly do you download DeX? Again, you need the Samsung DeX in order for it to use DeX on a computer, okay? I'm gonna put this link below in the description, but basically you'll go here and then you can choose for Windows 7 or Windows 10, or if you have a Mac OS right there. So pretty simple to do. Any questions or issues, uh, just comment below, all right?